My name is Mrs. Bryson. I'm the school counselor at the Lyceum campus, serving grades kindergarten through fifth. My name is Gloria Peters, and I'm the academy counselor, serving grades six through 12. Mrs. Caters and I are here to talk to you about how to stay safe in this online environment. As students, most of you have been using electronics for most of your lives, but now we are using it as our main form of communication and for academics and entertainment. Because of this, it's important to remember the world is different. Parents, for younger students, have them do their schoolwork in a public area, such as the dining room or living room. That way you can keep an eye on the websites and apps that they are visiting. Just remember, anytime you are posting, you are creating an online or texting persona that can be traced. Anything you say or do can be recorded, copied, and saved. If you have to close your door to do it or say it, you probably shouldn't put it online or say it in a text. Social media is a great way to stay connected. Remind your kids that anything they post is public. Anyone can see it now or even 10 years from now. Only post something that you would be comfortable saying to a classmate in person. It's so easy to say more online than you would in person because you're not face to face. But you always need to think, if this got out to the whole school, would I be okay with that? For older students, talk to your kids about social media. Talk about what is and what is not appropriate to post. Ask them to see their posts. Ask them what they think of what their friends are posting. An open line of communication is key in talking to your kids about social media. You don't know what's going on behind that screen. Friends could be struggling. You may not be just talking to the person you think you are. Their parents might be in the room, or a brother or sister, or they may not even be who you think they are. Remind your kids that an online post is only a snapshot of someone else's life. Everyone has ups and downs every day. But remember, people aren't always who they say they are. And if something sounds too good to be true, it just might be. It's okay to block people. Not to be mean, but to be safe. And it's okay to talk about these things with your parents, about an interaction you had or something that you came across. If you or your child are worried about someone else, please use the anonymous reporting tool, Safe to Tell. The phone number is 1-877-542-7233, or you can find them in line at www.safetotell.com. Take care of each other. Realize that we are all living in a very different world right now, and that can be really stressful. If you know someone is sharing that they are not okay, that they are really sad, or that things aren't going well at home, don't try to be their only helper. Email me or Miss Bryson. Talk to your parents or email a teacher. Contact Safe to Tell. Remember, we're all here to help. Parents, help your child control the amount of social media and screen time they're using. Each household is different and is gonna have different rules. However, if you notice social media is causing stress and anxiety in your child, have them turn it off and walk away. Sometimes they just might need to take a break. Help your child find other ways to connect with someone and brighten up their day. Draw a picture or write a letter to send to a loved one. Talk on the phone rather than text. These are just a few ideas. I'm sure you have many more. And if you are feeling sad, overwhelmed, or just need someone to talk to, your counselors are here. Your parents are there, and we can provide you other resources to help. Remember, if you would like to talk to someone, reach out to myself or Mrs. Caters to make an appointment. Thank you. Stay safe, guys. We miss you.